So you've been speaking English for years, maybe even living in the United States for like a decade, but you still don't sound good in English. Why is this? I'm Keenan, and this is the Clear English Corner, dedicated to helping you become clear and confident in your spoken English. So there's a common perception that if you want to sound good in English, you need to immerse yourself in English. Listen to as much English as you can. Speak as much English as you can. So you do this, right? You listen to audiobooks and podcasts. You try to speak as much as you can. You binge watch Netflix, thinking that over time, I'm going to start to sound better. My accent will just go away. Yeah, how's that working for you, my friend? But fear not, this is not your fault. It's because of the way your brain is processing English. See, when we learn a new language outside of something called the critical language learning period that happens in early childhood, when we learn language later in life, our brain doesn't process the unique sounds and rhythms of the new language. As you're learning this new language, you apply the sounds and rhythms of your first language to the new language. So for example, if your first language is Mandarin and you're learning English, you're going to apply the sounds and rhythms of Mandarin to English. And this is what causes an accent. The sounds and rhythms of your first language are so deeply ingrained in your subconscious that your brain just runs on autopilot. It perceives the new language through the filter of your first language. And more often than not, you don't fully perceive the differences. This is why you may have been living in the U.S. for 5, 10, 20 years and still struggling with pronunciation. Totally not your fault. So the only way to speak more natural conversational English is to train your brain to perceive the differences between English and your first language. You have to reroute your neural circuits. As your sensitivity to these differences becomes stronger, your accent becomes smaller. It's the same method actors use to adopt a new accent for a certain role. Listen, compare, adjust. Essentially, you have to learn to hear English in a whole new way so you can speak it in a whole new way. Makes sense, right? You quickly become amazed at everything you start to notice. It was there the whole time, but your brain just wasn't tuned into it. It's like when you've been singing your favorite song for years, and then one day your best friend comes over and hears you singing this song, and she's like, mm, no, that's not how it goes. And then she tells you the right lyrics and you're like, right, yeah, I can hear that now. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. It's not kiss this guy, kiss the sky. What? Oh yeah, I can hear that now. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Right. This is why the foundation of training in the Clear English Academy is ear training. Inside the academy, you'll be fascinated by all the things I'll point out that you'll then start noticing right away. Then you take each module step by step to build that awareness that's been missing from your English immersion experience. It's pretty incredible. And as my student Ty said, it's an ear awakening experience. Your ears will never be the same. And once you tune in to the patterns of spoken English, you can start to use those patterns intentionally in your own speech. Pretty cool, right? And if you're ready to transform your spoken English and stop hesitating to join conversations, the Clear English Academy is the perfect place for you. And great news, we're enrolling right now now, but only for a limited time. So click on the link in the description to learn all about this incredible program and to join us inside today. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.